Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to do so so you could get the newest uploaded videos. And also if you're looking for private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Also for those of you that are interested in supporting my channel, uh, so I can give you guys the best quality videos and um, basically to motivate me to focus and give you guys as much as much content as I possibly can okay so anyways let's get into this reading this is going to be for Leo's moon sun and rising let's see what spirit has for you guys whoa in regards to your love life spirit guides what are the messages for Leo's 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 my lions the messages for Leo's regarding their love life for mid-month August 2017 okay this is no one more <laughs> okay this is the last shuffle Let's see what spirit has for you guys so as you can see one card already came out Okay, for your first card, you have the High Priestess. Second card, second card, sorry. You have the Hanged Man. Third card, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. For your partner, the person you'll be dealing with for the mid-month of August going into September is the Three of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups with the Empress card at the bottom and this is going to be your central issue and you have the four of pentacles okay so leos for you guys uh whether you're in a relationship or whether you are single at the present time you guys are very focused and determined when it comes to finances i feel that a lot of you guys use that as an excuse uh as an excuse to keep yourself protected basically uh maybe some of you guys are experiencing um whether you decide to go out on date out go out on dates um or test the waters getting to know someone you very quickly come to a halt or you very quickly push them away and it has to do with the fact that you are not wanting to waste time at the present time from the cards um that came out for you uh, you're tired of wasting time or you're tired of putting efforts uh where you don't see any you know any uh any effort towards the persons that you're dealing with or you're not seeing any truthfulness like the moment you start catching people in lies the moment you start um, or they stop like pretty much dropping plans if they made a plan to hang out with you this weekend and you know then they very at a very late um, timing they reach out and they say hey you know what I can't make it whatever it may be it's like you're wanting okay so I'm being told it's like it's not that you're on a negative what it is is actually that you've came to the understanding of your value what you bring to the table and based on that uh, you're you're protecting yourself or keeping your heart protected because you're not wanting to just give out your energy or your attention or effort to just anybody okay now for the mid month you have the high priestess the high priestess is all about hidden uh, hidden things from you uh, people that are being sneaky or truths that have yet to come to light you're very you're very intuitive um almost almost like uh, i'm hearing like even in the way a person texts you it's like you're so very quickly to pick up on people's intentions so again going back to that dating for those of you that are single it's like you can almost perceive when someone is you know when they're making conversation with you or something and they text you the way that they construct their sentence like you're very easily picking up on those red flags and maybe that's the reason why you very quickly dismiss people uh, that could be one thing or again the high priestess talks about going within 
Versus the Hierophant, you want to teach people your learnings, your wisdom. But the High Priestess is all about um, inner self. So it's almost like the experiences that you have gone through when it comes to relationships. It's like it could be a good thing if you actually put the necessary um, wisdom where it needs to be applied versus shutting out the world and trying to keep to yourself, which I feel for a lot of you Leos, that's probably what's happening at the present time. Now, again, you do have the hanged man here and the hanged man is waiting on a decision or waiting on prosperity. And the reason why I say prosperity is because you do have the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is family structure, but it also represents abundance or stability. For some of you guys, maybe you guys, um, if you guys have been struggling when it comes to finances, you have not wanted uh, to pretty much get yourself tied to anyone at the present time because you'd rather actually be stable, financially stable, in order to be able to invest your time and effort into a serious relationship, okay? Now, you do have the Three of Pentacles here, and the Three of Pentacles is definitely talking about in a group or uh, working on a project, so perhaps with work, Anything that has to do with finances, I feel that a lot of you guys are going to be um, very busy when it comes to business. And this is how you're perceiving the situation. So I feel that for those of you that are single at the present time, uh, money and order comes before anything at the present time. And I feel that a lot of you guys, you are, it could also, the, the high priestess can also represent um, with the hanged man. Uh, it could also represent like visualization. Um, anything that has to do with meditation and trying to call forth whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, which I see a lot of you guys are definitely growing when it comes to finances. So there is either a stability, an offer, a job offer that you recently took that you're starting to see or you're going to start to see very quickly progression when it comes to that. And based on that, you'll be able to move forward and actually give your time and your effort uh, to people um, that you may be interested in. I hope that makes sense. Sorry, I had to take a little bit of tea because my <sighs> voice is a little bit, my throat is a little bit dry. Anyways, so when it comes to the person that you're dealing with uh, throughout the mid-month going into September, you have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a person coming back from your past uh, because this is how they're viewing the situation. Uh, a person from your past could be an earth sign. It could be a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign. This could be in their moon or rising. Uh, if if they don't have earth sign, which it's very highly that they, that they do, but if they don't, they're just taking on the qualities of this of this earth sign. Usually, earth signs are very practical. Uh, they're very good with money. They're very good with making and creating their own. Um, and again, it is the queen of pentacles, but it could represent both male and female. And I feel that this person from your past was someone you were not initially interested in. Uh, perhaps you guys were friends, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, because the four of cups definitely talks about not very interested in you or you not very interested in them. But I feel that there's going to be a shift change. And that shift change is going to have, it's going to come either through realization, like they, they're they tired of basically dating the same type of people, the people that cheat and lie to them, or it could be that you are in that situation, you're tired of being, you know, a serial dater and dating people that are just cheaters and liars, and maybe that's the reason why you haven't been as open when it comes to dating anymore for quite a while, and you both kind of solidify or give each other that understanding and that uh, you guys pretty much bring each other up when you guys are being negative. And I feel that both of you guys are going to start seeing each other very differently for the coming weeks going into uh, September, like I said. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing uh, or may be introduced um, to a person, a new person coming into your life, and it may be a person that, uh, you know, the mother figure, uh, something to do with mother figure. So it could be Either if it's a male, it could be that the male is very, very strongly connected to their mother and you respect that and, and that's something that uh, makes you see them in a different light or it could be um, 
the other way around. It could be that you are very close to your mother and your mother introduces you to someone within her circle, not her age, but I mean, like, it could be a son or it could be, you know, a daughter um, of the person that they're with or surrounding themselves with or of a friend or something like that. And they're usually bringing or brought into the dynamic uh, because I do see connection with family here as the Ten of Pentacles is here, okay? So I hope this resonates. I know it's not going to resonate with everyone. It was a very specific message. For those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, in a long-term relationship, I do see progression when it comes to you guys. Um, if you guys have been struggling money-wise, you're going to start to see uh, stability again come in. Uh, it has to do with an offer, an opportunity that recently was given, and your partner is able to encourage you and push you forward and, you know, it could have even been, um, I know this is a love reading, but I, I do want to mention uh, the Four of Cup usually represents like you don't like or you're not wanting or you're just not attracted to someone. Um, but for those of you guys that are in a serious relationship, it could have been that an opportunity came for your partner uh, and that opportunity was not that exciting for them, but I feel that that's going to play a very important role throughout the month of September for you guys as far as stability and abundance comes, okay? So anyways, I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share my video, and we will see from each other soon. Bye.